Hello guys, it's Unreal Solve again, and yeah, the time has come for another video. It's been a long time, like usually since I upload anything, but still, yeah, the time has come to visit Reddit, and I found out the question from Paki Shakes about the free camera movement, uh, aka um, spectator camera. So let's get straight into it. So for this one I use a blank project with no content, like literally nothing and yeah, let's get straight into it. It's like when you hit play, actually you have everything ready. That's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and wish you the best with your projects. Nah, not gonna do this. Mm, so let's first of all create a new blueprint class which is gonna be a pound and it's gonna be called like um, spec. Cam, I suppose, like whatever is the name, just you know, you have to know it, what what is it in your own project. Uh, okay, so now let's add a, a scene and yeah, make it a root so it's gonna be invisible and add a camera. So great, we have the camera. What's next? Uh, we're gonna actually make our spectator camera um, to be the main um, character in this scene. So actually let's create another blueprint which is going to be game mode base and it's going to be GM, uh, GM, 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 base, I don't care. Let's edit it, so we're going to maintain for our default player or pawn, it's going to be spec cam and I'm going to save that and I'm going to change the blueprints and it's going to be in the GM base, where are you, it's like there you are. Okay, I changed it so now the spectator camera is our main um, main, 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 main character out there. So great, okay, now we have to add some movement. So let's go into the project settings and go into the input. So now let's say action mappings, we will need this and we will need axis mappings and probably many of them. So now let's start with forward and backwards like this. Add a new input, so it's gonna be like W key and it's gonna be the S key, mm, just like this. And one of those have to be negative value. So now it's gonna be the left and right. Yep, like this. And also one more. And it's gonna be the A key. Uh, I missed one. I no, no, I don't wanna use backspace. I wanna use the A key instead. Uh, so the second one is gonna be the key, D key and it's gonna be also a negative value. I'm not sure, probably I will have to tweak those ones, but it's gonna be done later. So now, um, it's gonna be up and down, so we can go up and down directly with our uh, camera. So let's add another one and it's gonna be like E key. Where are you there? And the Q key, not Q, no, no, what the heck, uh, Q key. Yeah, and uh, it's also gonna be the negative value. So what's gonna be next? Okay, left, right, up and down, forward, backward. And, okay, I don't need those. Uh, so now enable camera rotation for the camera I just created, thanks. Okay, and this one is gonna be the right mouse button. Right, so, oh my, uh, right, mouse button, like this. We will need two more, and it's gonna be like, um, speed plus, and it's gonna be speed minus, and it's gonna be the mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down, and we will also need two more of them, yep. Yeah. It's gonna be look up and down and the second one is gonna be look left and right like this so i don't know about here and it's gonna be the oh i will need only one of those in here because it's gonna be the mouse x and the mouse y axis great just like this Mm, let's see, let's go into the spectator camera, let's delete all of those stuff, combine and save that. You also say, do you want to maintain the speed and so on, so we're gonna create a variable immediately. So it's gonna be speed, and the second one is gonna be um, 
R and B, so we know that the right mouse button is actually clicked. So now change the speed to float because we want to be a number uh, and not true or false like uh, R and B um, boolean. Okay, so let's start with our forward, backwards, left, and right. So let's say forward, forward, backwards. Zoom in, and let's say we're gonna get our camera and add. Mm, it's gonna be world. Offset, yeah, it's gonna be the offset. Great, so move it aside. Now split stroke into here. It's add world offset. No, I don't need to split it probably. Let's see, I will need a camera. I will need to get rotation, the world rotation. And then get the forward vector. Yes, and it's gonna be the um, nom, 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 how do you call it? Uh, vector times float, and the float is gonna be. Give me a second. Um, axis value. I need the speed. Axis values. Time speed. First of all, yeah. And this is gonna be connected here because we want the forward vector and times the speed and this is gonna be where we are gonna add or which direction we're gonna add the offset so it's gonna be teleport because sweep will be used in case of uh, using collisions okay this one is set up so now let's actually duplicate this with the um, control w uh, this is gonna be now left oh not load left and right just like this connect the access value to here mm, and now we're gonna use instead uh, get right vector instead of the forward one okay let's compare and save and test it out let's hit play and nothing happens don't ask me why I have no idea um Probably we will need to change how to receive input to player zero. Is that correct? No, I wasn't right. What the heck is happening? So it's like, okay, uh, this is, uh, let's say, um, print string, hello, and play. So it receives input. And I'll say, um, um, branch out here. And only if false, and we will check the axis. I know why I'm so stupid. Oh the heck! It's always time speed, which is always zero. So now let's say one. Okay, now now I found a glitch. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> forward, backwards is okay. Left and right is inverted. So let's say this is gonna be left and right. This is gonna be minus one. This is gonna be one. Or we can actually change those here. But it doesn't really matter. So now let's hit play again. Okay, now it works. Great. So now we have uh, forward, backward. Now we will actually do use this one and let's copy it because it's gonna be probably faster yep mm, oh my that's so long <laughs> input action enabled. and camera rotation for the camera i just created thanks mm, great okay so now whenever we press it and release it we're gonna change to true and false okay mm, great this is gonna be on the top here and now use look up and down look up and down Oh, I don't want only the value, I want a uh, um, function. Mm, look up and down, this one. And now we're gonna make it a camera. Set. No. Add rotation, and it's gonna be relative. It's gonna be relative. Okay, so this is gonna be the target, and now let's split the struct pin and uh, look up and down this is only we're gonna add a branch only if the rmb is hold it true and if it's false then it's gonna do nothing okay so add the relative rotation up and down is gonna be the y-axis yeah okay so now let's duplicate this and look left and right and it's gonna be connected to the Z value. Great, let's check it out actually. Uh, look up and down. Look left and right. 
what the heck is happening? That, that's pretty strange. Let, let's see. Oh, wrong button. Um, look up and down. Oh, I'm so stupid. Mouse Y up and down is always the Y axis and mouse X is always the horizontal. So now it's gonna work. Okay, this is inverted. This is okay. So left and right is inverted. So left and right is gonna be like one. And play and now it works okay we can move what's forwards up and down that's pretty great and the other thing we're gonna implement is gonna be the up and down which is gonna be either e and q so let's say up and down uh, up and down just like this um it's gonna be also this one right here so let's add world offset. This is gonna be gonna in here, and instead of the forward vector, it's gonna be the up vector because we're gonna go up and down. So let's get up vector and connect it out here. Great. Okay. Uh, let's actually check it. Uh, it's relative. No, it's world. Great. And it's actually moving me uh, depending on my rotation. So that's gonna be glitchy. Instead of doing this, no get up vector and no calculations from here, we're gonna just add world offset to the Z according to the speed and um, yeah, that's it. Okay, so now when I look down, I still go upwards. That's great, that's what I wanted to achieve. Okay, that's good. And the last thing we're gonna implement is gonna be change the speed. So now this is gonna be the in action mapping. So we're gonna use two nodes. It's gonna be speed the heck is happening speed plus oh my god that was so that was so hard um it's gonna be speed minus great so now let's maintain the speed and whenever we press the plus um, set the speed to the actual speed plus one exactly and now we're gonna Set the speed when we go to minus, get the actual speed, minus uh, one, and that's gonna be the speed. Compile it, save, but still, this is not all, because I can actually, like you can see, I can still get on faster. The rotation is independent, probably, I think. Yeah. But you can, like, like you can see, you can be even faster, like ever before. Like, wow. Okay. Mm, what I meant about it's not. Um, done yet it's like you can infinitely speed up and down and when you go down too much then you're gonna actually I press the S button now and I can invert it because I'm going down with a mouse speed so now in order to prevent that we're gonna add a branch which go which is gonna ask us about the actual speed so if the speed is greater or equal 10 if it's greater or equal then nothing's gonna happen if it's not we can still speed up so it makes sense okay let's put it to the side like this and duplicate the branch and it's gonna be the false state and it's gonna be again the speed but this time if it's smaller or equal one and in order to be fully sure it's not gonna be glitchy in the true you can set the speed whenever it's gonna be higher or equal 10 and we put a plus uh, uh, or use the actually this node it's gonna set the speed back to the maximum value so it's gonna never extend it and we can do the same actually here but for the minimum value so now i can buy and save okay, play and now it's this is my top speed i cannot go higher actually you can actually make higher whatever you want this is the slowest one you can go up and down forward and up and down and left and right and play the camera and be faster and i hope that's what you actually asked for and yeah that's it that's a pretty shortcut and i hope you enjoy and wish you the best with your projects cheers